This is my printer bot printing a large gear for Greg's extruder. I had to lower the temperature all the way down to uh, 205C. Um, I'm not sure if it's a calibration problem with my thermistor or what's going on, but anyway, um, I was getting some bubbling and, and it was very rough before when I was printing at 230. And I tried going lower and lower. Actually, I printed the small gear at only 195 C. Um, but when I tried to print this big gear, you can see here, um, it started lifting off the, uh, I don't know, this, the layers were separating. And it seems like they weren't sticking properly. So I went from 195 up to 205 for this print. I'm printing it quite slowly right now. Um, the perimeters are only 15 millimeters a second. Um, I tried 30 before. And uh, basically the vibration of this thing is just was making it a little bit too rough for my taste. But at 15, it's quite smooth. My infills are actually going at 50 millimeters a second. Um, this hot end here, it's my variation on Wild's Eyes hot end. It's um, the diff main difference is it's got the resistor inside. Um, I mean, it's got one of those uh, cylindrical resistors instead of the aluminum tape-on one that he uses, and. Um, also, I cut off the brass tip a bit. Um, the way it, this one's assembled, actually, um, you can actually unscrew the parts and take them up, take it apart. Um, nothing is banged in. Um, it's working a lot better now that I'm running at lower temperatures. When it was at higher temperatures, it would get so hot that the plastic was melting up in the PTFE barrel. Um, but right now, since I've gotten the temperatures down, it's working quite well. I can turn off the printer, come back the next morning without any problems it'll just start up again without any jams um, so I'm running Pronterface and I'm using Marlin it's from my fork on github and of course I'm using a printer board um, this is Rev C I got this one from RepRep USA um, this one here this is the old printer board I was using this one it's a uh, Rev B it was sent to me by um, Kang in Korea uh, the new one, you can see that the, well, I mean, they made some changes for manufacturing. Uh, the main difference is that, uh, I mean, that you can see here, though, is just that the connectors are vertical instead of horizontal. Um, otherwise, uh, not much difference between these boards. You can see I don't have any heat sinks on it. The board's actually, it's four layer. It's got enough, uh, it's got enough, um, thermal dissipation built in that you don't have to put any heat sinks on because the heat sinks actually, actually the heat is actually um, it, there's a, the die is exposed on the bottom so it's actually better to try to suck the heat away from the bottom of the chips um, you know here we go again um, seems to be doing quite nicely right now as you can see I'm painting uh, printing on an ABS bed I don't have my heat bed working yet because I don't have a strong enough uh, power supply to handle all the, the power that it needs. Um, so I tried printing out a bunch of stuff. I actually used the heat gun on the glass before. It worked great except that I didn't keep the heat up and the whole print popped off because it got too cool while it was printing. Um, I've been having some pretty good success with the printing on ABS. It's not great because the ABS warps a little bit as it heats and um, well the hot end kind of digs these grooves into it because of the heat um, but uh, it's pretty easy to separate the prints generally I just bend the ABS a little bit and it just pops off this is the biggest print I've done so far though so hopefully this one's gonna pop off just as well